Today, I want to do just a little bit of a training on your third eye, how you know it's open, what you can expect, what does it allow you to perceive, uh, what things can you do to assist in that process, right? That's one of these topics that uh, seems to to generate a lot of interest in the spiritual awakening community. Everybody thinks that their third eye is closed. And we, you hear all these things about we have to decalcify things and, you know, there, it's there's calcium buildup and you have to change your diet. And you have to do all of these extraordinary complicated things to be able to start to get in tune or in touch with the information that the third eye can provide for you, which is your multidimensional awareness, whether that's your communication or connection with your guides. Um, that's the ability to perceive energy, see orbs, see auras, things like that. Um, just that general intuitiveness, that knowing uh, in your connection to the to the multidimensional you, that all comes out of the third eye. And a lot of times we think we need to focus directly into the third eye to activate it or awaken it. But the truth is um, your third eye is likely already open, already awake. It just needs to really be activated, meaning it needs to, to come into your awareness. You need to be able to start to perceive the information that is available through your third eye. And that often um, entails just simply stepping out of the way, getting your humanness, getting your senses, five senses out of the way so that you could start to allow the subtleties of this energy and this information to start to come forward for you. So, it, you know, I want to dive into that a little bit um, and expand on that and explain what's really going on. So when we think our, our third eye is closed because we're not having these magical types of experiences, what is generally happening is that energy is getting stuck in the lower chakras. It's not getting up here, right? And if it's not getting up here, you're not going to be able to perceive all of these amazing things, this multidimensional energy, more of your intuition, orbs, auras, seeing people's auras, reading people's auras, seeing colors, uh, seeing the just the expansiveness of the universe, right? So it's so, so important to, to be able to move energy through your lower chakras, meaning that you want to find the energy blockages. We know we do that through breath work and things like that. We can get in and we can feel into these areas. And each chakra has a corresponding emotional trait to it. These manifest in certain emotions and certain thinking triggers it. Maybe you have anxiety, maybe you have a lack of self-worth, lack of confidence, right? Solar plexus blockage. The energy's not getting up into the heart. And once it gets into the heart, it's shooting up here. So we often focus in on what's going on here. This is the problem. When in reality, what's happening is just energy's not getting there, right? Third eye's fine. It's open. It's it's just it's just not really active, meaning it's not part of your experience um, because you've got all of this stuck energy clouding your your vision and what you're experiencing day to day. So if you're anxious, if you're maybe a little spiritually depressed, you're stressed, right? Energy is stuck in your body and you're manifesting a reality that is clouded or really living in a 3D type of a state, right? These anxious emotions are, are emotional states that really, um, they just keep you in a lower frequency, you're vibing low, right? You don't feel really expansive, you feel really constricted. And when you feel constricted, your body responds to that and constricts you, right? It wants to like hold on to all that energy, it wants to keep it tight, keep it close, close, right? So we're constrictive, not expansive. So third eye wants to do its thing. It's presenting you with information, information that's available, except you're not aware of that information because you're not entirely present. You're more stressed. You're in the past, or maybe you're thinking about the future and expectations, and you're not right here right now where all of the goodness is. In terms of, of you know, activating or really becoming aware of the information that your third eye has for you, it's important to allow that energy to start to move up through your central channel, which means you want to get more present with it. So we get into shadow work and feeling into these dense emotions and working through the energy that's stuck in the, in the body and the lower chakras 
so that it could come up here and just by that alone you become more present right because you're working you're focused in the body you're working with the energy you're more present therefore the energy starts to flow because the energy flows where your awareness goes right so when we're aware of what's happening in the body we give the energy an opportunity to start to move so it starts to move up gets into your heart maybe you feel a little bit of love maybe we're stressed maybe we're anxious but all of a sudden you're feeling a little bit of love now energy is moving up right Maybe there were some situations that you were dealing with and you weren't fully expressive with it, but now you feel connected, you feel the love, you feel empowered, so you're ready to speak your mind or speak your truth, right? So energy's coming up into here. This is all balancing now, right? So this comes online, the throat, and now it moves up into your third eye and you start to see an expanded version of reality, okay? The things that your higher self is guiding you towards starts to come into view. You start to be able to perceive it. You start to be able to see it. And along with that comes the, the things that were previously obscured by your 3D vision starts to come through now and you start to be able to see it. You're starting to see things look a little brighter. You're starting to perceive energy. You're starting to perceive auras. Maybe you're seeing orbs. Maybe you're seeing shadows, right? You're more present. You're more available. So it is so, so important to recognize that the issue isn't with your third eye. The issue is the fact that there's a lack of energy flow moving up, okay? Energy contains information. It's a carrier of information, right? So when that energy is allowed to move up through your body because you've become present, you've put your body into a more relaxed state, you've leaned into the density that you've been avoiding for a long time, these emotions, and you sat and you became present with them, that frees up energy and now it starts to come up here. So you're more present and you're more whole, meaning that you're more aware, right? Your third eye then starts to active, it becomes more active in your experience, it activates, okay? So it starts to bleed through. You start to be able to perceive things. Now these things were always there, the energy was always there, the information was always there, you were just turned away from it, right? But now it's available to you. You start to be able to see energy. You start to be able to see auras. Um, how amazing would that be to be able to become aware of these higher frequency energies, to be able to not only feel uh, how what someone else is maybe experiencing, right? You know, we all have that. It's like, oh, they must be having a bad day. But to actually visually start to get a representation by being able to see their aura, their field, their energy as it constricts and expands, right? There's information in that, and that information is available to you. This gets into all sorts of things with being able to see colors in auras, being able to see maybe where people have some energetic blockages within their field that you could learn to assist them with, right? It just opens up a whole world of information for you that wasn't there in the past, okay? So when you could learn to allow this perception that's there, this information that's there to start to come through because we've slowed it down, you've gotten more present, you've gotten more centered, and you're just simply allowing this information, energy flow, to move up here where you can actually start to make it part of your reality, everything starts to change. Everything starts to open up. You start to see things, you start to feel things on another level, you're more in tune with your intuition, you're more in tune with your guides, and um, essentially, reality just starts to change. You start to have an expanded, higher frequency view of reality, right? Moving towards new earth, colors get brighter, right? Animals and things, nature, you start to be more in tune with that, more connected to it. You start to be able to feel it on a whole new level, right? And see things and perceive things that you weren't able to before. That is what happens when you start to allow that energy to start moving through. Now, there are things that you can do to assist in that process where you could get into your third eye and really bring energy to it, bring focus, bring concentration, consciousness to it, to help it, to help it move, to help it get in sync, to get in tune. And then, like I said earlier, there are techniques that you could use to help 
clear the lower chakra energetic blockages because that frees up a whole host of energy that then shoots up your channel through your heart, through your throat, here, up into your crown, and then out, right? That's the reality changing stuff. So when you learn how to do that, and, and believe me, it, like it's not hard to do. We just overcomplicate this, especially when it comes to the third eye. For whatever reason, there's all of these things that you need to do to awaken your third eye, right? And a lot of that's just nonsense. It's nonsense, right? Well, I have to decalcify it for months. Or I got to change my diet. I've got to meditate for hours on end, right? So that so that my third eye can awaken. Okay, like all of these things that you've heard and you've read to the point where it's like, oh, that's never going to happen for me. Well, I'm here to tell you it's already happening for you. If you're here watching this right now, you're being guided. You're in tune with that intuition. It is there. You just haven't made that connection yet that you're here because you were guided into that moment. Okay, so you're living too much in the 3D, thinking that your logical brain is orchestrating all of this. You're being guided by your higher self. And that information is moving through you and you're responding to it though unconsciously right but we can make that more conscious we can make that information more available to you more conscious where you start to feel it you start to feel it you start to see it right it manifests in your reality this is already there this is already there it's already operating it's just learning how to step aside and pull back some of that humanness, meaning my physical eyes are showing me what reality looks like, and I'm limiting my reality to that. Or my hearing is showing me what reality is, right? And I'm limiting myself to that, right? I'm not opening up to the frequencies, the vibrations that are there. You guys have maybe some buzzing, right? Some things, higher frequency energy starting to come into your awareness. It was always there. You're just now able to perceive it. You're able to hear it, right? Maybe you're starting to see shadows. You're starting to see orbs. You're starting to see auras. You're starting to see energy because you've made a conscious choice to focus in on it. Now, there are techniques and tools that you can use that can help pull back it teach you how to pull back the physical senses so that what's already there can reveal itself to you and once you start to perceive that once you're aware of what's already there it doesn't go away it's there you're aware of it. it's like having an awakening once you awaken you're awake right so these are things that can happen very very easily it doesn't take a whole lot of time it doesn't take weeks. It certainly doesn't take months. And again, you don't need crazy diets. You don't need to focus in so much on decalcifying your, your third eye. All you got to do is get your energy moving and pull back the parts of you that were obscuring it. And very simple techniques can teach you how to do that very, very quickly. I've done it. I've, I've through my courses, I've taught hundreds of people how to perceive energy or and auras. That innate ability is there. You have it too. Forget about like, oh, that's not a gift that I have. Someone else has that. That's just not mine. I'm never going to be able to do that, right? That's a limiting belief. You can do that. You can learn how to do this. Again, the biggest thing is taking that human identity and reining it in, pulling it back. What your five senses are showing you, pulling that back a little bit so that you can allow what is underneath to come forward. So we're not activating something that's new. We are stepping into something that's already there, okay? And it's very, very easy to do, can be done very, very quickly. Again, hundreds of people have taken my third eye activation course and so many of them have had success. The reviews have been overwhelmingly fantastic with techniques that are simple to learn, simple to implement, just simple to use. And people are starting to perceive energy and auras really, really quickly.
okay? You have that ability to do that within you. Don't let anybody tell you that it's complicated or that you can't do it. That's for psychics. Maybe that's for mediums. That's for special people who are gifted in that. You are being guided by your higher self. That's just truth. If you need proof on that, you could watch the video I just released on YouTube that you are connected to your guidance, to your higher self. And I prove it in that video. It's on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link here. Okay. It's really, it's time to stop overthinking this, right? We get into our heads. We get into our minds. We get into these beliefs that we can't do these things. And I don't care whether it's opening your third eye, activating your crown, balancing your chakras, removing a heart wall. These things are not complicated. It's a matter of becoming present, leaning into what your higher self and your guides are showing you, following those signs, those steps that are there. First, you got to perceive them. You got to trust that you're being guided and know that you're on the right path. And as you do that, you ground more of your higher self, anchor it into your body. Energy starts moving. You start to vibrate faster, leaning into higher frequencies. These higher frequency realities start to become perceivable to you because you realized I'm more than human. See, when we believe that we're just human and we're taught that our five senses define who we are, that, that, that gives us the information. The only reality that there is is what these five senses can perceive. We believe that. We're taught that. We're told that. Over and over and over again. If you can't see it, don't believe it. Well, the truth is your senses extend far beyond the five. The third eye, for example, it's called a third eye for a reason. It gives you access to realities that lie beyond what the five senses can show you. So we can amplify that. Or you could take the easier, simpler approach and rein in the human piece. Learn to perceive beyond what your five senses are showing you and lean into that. And I'm here again to tell you it's not that difficult. And it could happen very, very quickly. If you have not taken my third eye activation course, I'm going to drop a link. Definitely check that out. It is a fun, fun course. Hundreds of people, I think over 300 now, have taken the course. And the reviews have been absolutely phenomenal. I think it's like a 4.84 or 5 out of 5 stars. Okay, many, many reviews, amazing, positive feedback, incredibly fun. One of the techniques you will not find anywhere else. It is one of my techniques, and it can be very quickly learned and utilized to do exactly what I'm talking about in this training, pulling back your physical eyesight, softening it just a little bit to allow the subtle energy that's underneath that to come forward. Many people by the end of that course, by the end of my course, are seeing energy and auras. It is not complicated. If you're interested in taking that step, having an incredible amount of fun, this course is broken down into modules, video modules that you can, you can take and you can learn at your own pace. You'll have lifetime access. If I ever update the course, you'll get the updates. Okay. And it's at a reduced price right now. I'm going to put that link in here again. Okay. It's so amazing when we allow ourselves to finally realize that there is more here than what we've been led to believe. And we could actually start to perceive that it's very expansive. Okay. And just being able to do that allows you to become available for more of your divine energy to drop in. So we start to remember things. We start to uh, things that we, we thought we forgot start to come on, come back online. They start to come forward, right? We remember, we start to feel a little bit more calm because we trust in that knowing who we are, that we don't have to be always controlled by our circumstances, that we are empowered and can control, be in control of how we feel in any given moment. And when you start to do that, you start to relax your body a little bit, 
you start to relax your senses, allow them to pull back a little bit, there's a whole new world that is ready to be unveiled right before your eyes.